Hi everyone, I am Johnny Man, and welcome back to another episode of my Hardcore Challenge. Uh, this is probably... Um, what are you doing? My goodness. <laughs> uh, this is probably what I would think is episode... Uh, let me see. I think it's probably three or four. Uh, this is the first one I've done over here. I've done a couple streams, so that's why I... You may be wondering, hey, I haven't seen the previous episodes. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're doing a little bit of hardcore challenge with uh, quest suggestions from followers. Uh, just reasonable quests. So I'm not going to do anything like uh, kill the Ender Dragon and all that kind of stuff. That's normal. But uh, yeah, so let's just dive in. I'll bring it up to speed and uh, figure out what we're going to do today. Yes, um, can I help you? Yeah, exactly. You just go drag your llama through the fire again. Crazy guy. Hello, kitty. How you doing? Yay, good kitty. Uh, yeah, so here we are uh, doing hardcore challenge. It's uh, so yeah, basically, you know, you die, you lose your world. It deletes and everything. So things are just a little bit different. Um, I was lucky enough to find this village, which actually goes on and on. And I actually think that we've got some buildings over here and I've got another villager over here. There he is right there, a librarian, because I put down the, uh, the lectern there. So he'll take paper. Um, but I think from the Minecraft perspective, I think this treats these as two separate villages only because he never comes over over here and mingles and they never go over here and mingle. So yeah, that's kind of interesting and you see, hey, we got a little villager. Uh, yeah, so when we first started in here, we had like a whole bunch of uh, um, cauldrons with water. So we had a whole bunch of leather workers. So I took away all the cauldrons so I could make specific villagers. And that's what I've been doing is kind of crafting who I want by putting down like this for the Fletcher and for the cartographer and uh, we lost a few villagers and so I've been desperately trying to uh, get food together we've got my own little gardens going here and keep them fed so that they can be happy and they can multiply which they have we obviously saw our little our little villager running around there he is right there hey how you doing uh, and what I was doing this for mainly is this guy right here the cartographer if I trade with him enough he'll eventually get us a map to the Woodland Mansion, which is really what I want. Uh, the Fletcher I have because he's easy trades. 32 sticks for an emerald. So this is a good way to build up emeralds uh, really fast. And then I can use those if need be to bring this the cartographer up. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've been doing mostly because I need to find the Woodland Mansion because one of my quests is to get a totem. So I obviously want to go get a totem. And the other quest I have is just no killing piggies. I'm not killing piggies. So that's uh, that's an ongoing one. This is one that we can obtain. Over there, you can barely see it. We've got another village. So that uh, there's not much going on over there, but at least it's there. And I am trying to keep those villagers alive too, because eventually, if we have to get into doing a raid, I'd rather go raid that village than my village, <laughs> for obvious reasons. All right, so there's a boatload of paper so we should be able to get a few trades and hopefully progress him up to his next level hello bud we want to trade perfect nice okay there we go he's filled up so he should get the little purple orbs going around him saying that he's going to level up and then he will offer us something different there we go there's the purple orbs he is leveling up uh, i think that's enough and there we go. So he will now take glass, which is another easy thing to make for emeralds, which is awesome. And then, wow, 11 emeralds and a compass for the ocean explorer map. That's not what we're looking for. We need to get him up one more level and he will give us the woodland mansion map. But that's not so bad. And then again, I don't mind spending some of the emeralds every now and then to bring him up to speed. If I did diamond pants, that'll leave us one, two, three, four, five. So we could do pants and either a helmet or boots let's go for boots oh there's my cue that it's nighttime so we'll sleep our kitty cat's up on a boat maybe he'll bring us a little a little present afterwards all right so there you go that's just kind of a very quick recap of what's going on and where we're going so yeah if you have any suggestions for uh quests make sure they're just kind of reasonable uh put them in the comments below and i'll take a look at them you know, uh, things like, you know, kill the ender dragon, kill the wither. Those are just normal type things. Uh, I'd rather have some unique quests that uh, maybe don't happen that often. And stuff that's doable. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to put quests down that are impossible <laughs> for sure. All right. So I think now it's time to possibly just go on a little bit of an adventure and look around. I haven't really 
looked around too much. Uh, just checking that out. Great. So in that, I should probably make myself a map just for here so that I know where home base is and we can kind of adventure around the map a little bit. That's a little bit better, but I think I want to go out even further. There we go. That's probably better. Let's see. How's that looking? Looking good. We may expand it out a bit more, but we do have a sense for where the village is. And we can then just run around and explore and uh, hopefully not get get lost in the process. All right, let's see. Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? We've got lots of water that I haven't actually gone to the other side of. So maybe that's what we should do. Get ourselves a little boat and let's go on a quick little adventure over there. I like that. I like that. I'll see if there's anything of interest over this way. So far, not seeing a whole lot. Let's get a little higher. I'm not seeing any other villages or anything else that might draw my attention. But that's okay. That's okay. Part of this is just figuring out what's around. Yeah, so the other village is off over here. I haven't gone beyond that village, so that might be something to do too, just to check out what's there. Even get up on higher in the mountains just to look out or further and see what we've got. I think we'll come ashore here, run into the village, and... Uh, see what we can see beyond the village. All right, here we are. We're up a little bit. We can see we see the smoke from our village, which is very, very cool. We see the village that we were just in down there. We can check out on the other side here and see what there is. Oh, we got some more sheepies. Sheepies are always good for food. Piggies, you're safe. Yes, don't worry, you're safe. All right, what do we have on this side? Not seeing anything. We got oh, there's our cows. We'll probably go over there and get that. Mm, some flatlands. That could uh, that could be a village area over there. That might be something to check out. All right, we made it home. I've emptied my pockets, and I think we're probably good to probably make the fish farm. So what you'll need is you'll need a trench. One, two. Whoops, <laughs> I'm getting carried away here. Let's just do this, put him back. So ideally you're gonna need a trench that's gonna be too wide. And you'll see why in a second. So what you're gonna do here, this is where you put your note block. So you put your note block on the end of the trench, right there, perfect. And if you don't want the note block making any noise, crouch down, you put something on top, now the note block is silent. All right, and then on here, what you're going to do is actually, so we're going to break this away here because this will be our first chest. So what we're going to do is we're going to go chest, chest. Whoops. I wanted that connected. I was crouching. That was my mistake. Let's try that again. There we go. There's our first chest. Onto that chest, you're going to put the hopper. So here you just want to crouch down and then aim at the chest. So now the hopper will put things in the chest. All right. So far, so good. Here you put the, you crouch down again, put the fence post on top of the hopper. You will then waterlog it and it'll flow down into that hole, which is exactly what you want. On top of it, you're going to put the pressure plate. And then you just need the iron door and you want to put it at the very bottom of the block you put on top of the note block. So you want to put it right there. All right, and that's it. That is your AFK fish farm. And I'll show you what I mean. There's our fishing rod. Now, obviously the reason for the for having a fish farm is you can, as you get uh, better stuff, so the fishing farm will let you find ex better fishing rods, better bows, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can slowly upgrade your fishing rod to be really, really good. And then you'll be getting lots of enchanted books, enchanted bows. And where that pays off is obviously we don't have to make those, so we can use those to enhance our armor. But the other thing is, if you get a grindstone, then any of those enchanted items it finds, you can pull the enchantments off to get the experience. Now, obviously, you're looking for things like power bows, and uh, and the best fishing rod you want to find is obviously that's going to have uh, Luck of the Sea 3, Lure 3, 
and mending those are the big ones because then it'll just it'll never break first you're going to aim at the at the pressure plate which is then going to open up the trap door then you're going to aim your cursor just at the note block and holding the button down it'll think that you're trying to push at the note block but it's going to be fishing at the same time so watch this and then i move up to the note blocks there we go so now it's fishing and when it catches a fish it'll trigger everything to reset the, the hopper will catch the item go into the chest and it'll automatically cast out and fish again so we'll just let this go and i'll show you and there we go see it automatically reset i'm not didn't move anything it's now automatically fishing again so i could in theory i could change the key binding for uh, from the mouse button to a key and then keep that key pressed down and once i get this going i could walk away and just let this happen so we'll let it go one more and then we'll check the chest there we go so if we take a look at our chest there's the two things that we caught so eventually yes this fishing rod will deteriorate but hopefully by that time you might have found a, uh, a better fishing rod one with enchantments so eventually what you can do is you can build this up so the creepy crawlers don't get you but again, yeah, I'm worried about the creepy crawlies and my villagers, so I'd probably only do this during the daytime and then check it out. But like I say, as you slowly get better, better fishing rods and get Luck of the Sea 3 and Lure 3 on there, you will be hauling in so much good stuff. Put the fishing rod away, because I think what we're going to do is let's make our nether portal. Just because the, we haven't had a whole lot of stuff going on, and I just want to have a few bits of progress today. So the fishing rod or the fishing farm is one so i'll build that up we got our villagers fed and that's pretty good now where do i want to put this i don't want this too close maybe right out there that just kind of says hey come out here so yeah let's go over here and we will make this our little nether nether portal clear the area out Sure. Now, yeah, I'll have it facing facing us. Perfect. That's kind of middle. That looks fine to me. Great. And we got just enough, I think. Oh, no, we need two more pieces. I'm going to have to go back down and get the last two pieces. Oh, look at this. We have happy, happy villagers. We're going to get another little baby villager. Cool. See, I am keeping the village thriving. That's awesome. There we go. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I've grabbed the two missing pieces of, of obsidian, and we are ready to check out where we're going to be plunked in the nether. It would be maybe too much to ask that we're right by a fortress. Who knows? And let's see, we go. just clean that up. All right, are we ready to check this out? Here we go. All right, again, this is hardcore mode, so I've got to be careful. So it might just be a very quick in and out to see what the nether looks like. Let's go and see. Okay, where are we? We are... Okay, we're somewhat contained. Ooh, we've potentially got some lava coming down at us here. So let's just... Always check up when you first come in, because see? Here we go. We got lava coming down. I want to have it, give it a place to go. All right. Whew. See, if we hadn't done that, we would have been overrun with lava. Craziness. Always check. Always, always, always. And in that vein, we're just going to protect ourselves so we don't accidentally walk into the lava so there we go we should be good there and for the most part we've got ourselves a contained little spot i highly doubt that we'll run into any ghasts coming this way but maybe not but we can hold on i want to keep my cobblestone nearby i think we want to I think I'll just kind of quickly take a look up here. I'm probably going to regret it, but remember, hardcore mode just... Oh my goodness. We are like right near a fortress. 
That is so lucky. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, okay. So, we know we can come back here. Um, we've got a good spot. We uh, averted some almost instant death. So, I may actually try to just block that off so it doesn't even bother coming down. And I'm not going to take chances with that. But I am just going to grab a little bit of quartz just in case we need it for anything. Okay, wow. Did we ever get lucky? We've got a fortress right near us. Now, hopefully, fingers crossed, it has um, has some good stuff like a blaze spawner and chests for finding lots of free loot. I could use that. That would be pretty good. So we know that's there. Cool. All right, we've got the paper. Oh, look, they're happy villagers again. We've got, I think we had another Fletcher. Yeah, see, so we, two Fletchers and we're, we're getting another offspring. Oh, this village is thriving. I love it. All right, there you have it. There is the conclusion of this episode of the Hardcore Challenge. Uh, yep, yeah, we've got a few other things to do, and hopefully we'll get that map, and then we can go looking for the Woodland Mansion. Um, and we've got now another fortress that we can go and explore too. But I do want to get a few more levels, do a little more fishing. I'd like to have a little better protection on this armor. And yeah, I think that'll be pretty cool. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and tell your friends. I'd love to have you on board. And look forward to continuing the hardcore adventure in the next episode. Bye, everyone.